In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a waveform that reacts to your audio and put that on a custom path or shape. So you could have a circle audio waveform, a square audio waveform, it's completely up to you. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe After Effects and you have a brand new composition created, we first just want to begin by creating a new black solid. So we'll go layer, new, solid, make sure this is black and press OK. Then you just want to drag some music on to your composition. So I'm just going to drag this in and I'm just going to drag that underneath the black solid layer. Now we'll go into effects and presets. And if you can't see the effects and presets window, then make sure you're in the correct workspace. So as you can see, I'm in all panels. You'll also see it in effects, but if you can't see that for any reason, then you can see if you go down to effects and presets, there should be a tick on the left of that. So make sure that's there. So with effects and presets now enabled, you just want to go ahead and search for audio and that should load up audio spectrum and audio waveform. Now, either one of these effects works, but I prefer the look of audio spectrum. So just drop that onto your black video. And as you can see, that will just generate this line. And if we play the space bar, nothing is going to happen. And that's because one, we don't have any mask created and two, the audio waveform isn't linked to the music. So let's start with that. We're going to audio spectrum, audio layer, go black solid two, and we'll change this to the music. So as you can see, ES Black Lies instrumental version in my example. And if we play this back, you can see that's our waveform now created. So if we go into audio spectrum, you can see we've got all of these different settings. So you can see we've got start points and end points. This is basically just the start point is the left, the end point is the right. So you can move this in any which direction that you want. Then we can go down to frequency bands. We can increase this to create this shape. So if we have this down to, let's say 10, for example, as you can see, we've only got 10 lines, but if we have that up to 200, as you can see, that looks a lot more animated. So we'll keep that at around 200. Then we've got maximum heights. Now at the moment it's set to 480, but if we go into 1000, you can see if we play this back, that's much taller and you can go even higher than that. So we can go 5,000. But the problem is your loudest part to your frequency are going to be off the screen. So let's go back down towards where it was. So we'll go 500. Then you've got your audio duration, audio offsets. These are fine. Just leave them as they are. Then we've got thickness. So at the moment it's quite thin. These lines, if we zoom in, are quite thin. But if you increase the thickness, as you can see, the thickness of the lines is going to increase. So I'm going to keep that at around five and we'll pull the softness down to zero. Moving on, we've got inside color and outside color. So at the moment you can see these are two different shades of pink. So we'll go ahead and select the inside color and we'll change this to a color of your choice. And we'll do the outside color, a slightly different color. So we'll keep this on that pink. And if we zoom in, you can see that's how this looks. So the outside color is almost like a stroke and then the inside color is your fill color. So you can just go ahead and select the same colors if you wanted a solid color. Now moving down, you've got display options, digital analog lines or analog dots. Now this is just basically going to change the look of the audio waveform. So if I zoom back out and we change digital to analog lines, you can see that's gonna look a lot closer to your traditional audio waveform. But if we change that to analog dot, it's going to remove the lines and just leave the high points and the low points of that audio waveform. Which looks cool, but in this example, that's not what I'm going for. So I'm going to change analog dots back to digital because I prefer the look of the digital lines. And you've got side options, side A and B. So side A is going to be your upper. So if you only wanted the audio waveform on the top side, then just select side A. And then if you only wanted it below, just go ahead and select side B. You could actually create two audio spectrums, have one set to the top, one set to the bottom and have different colors or settings on each side to make it look a little bit different. That's a cool idea. But for this example, we keep side A and B. And then all of these other settings you don't really have to worry about for now. So let's move on to adding this onto a custom path. So let's start with a circle. So with the black solid selected, you just want to go up to the mask tool up here. So it should be rectangle tool by default, but we'll drag that down to ellipse tool and we'll just draw a circle in the middle of our composition. Now, if you want to turn on the proportional grid to move this mask into the center, then you can, but you don't have to. Then we'll go back to the black solid layer, go into audio spectrum, go down to path, select the box that says none and we'll select mask one. 
And as you can see, the audio spectrum effect has used Mask 1 as its path. So when we play this back, you can see we've got this really cool circle audio waveform effects now happening. And if you go into side A and side B again, you can see if you just wanted it inside the circle, you select side A. And if you wanted it just outside, then you go side B. I'm going to just select side A because I think that looks really cool in this example. And if you wanted these lines to get closer into the center, then you go into maximum height and you increase that. And you can always go ahead and you can add more frequency bands to make this look cooler. And you can also make this thicker as well. Let's see how that looks. That looks really cool. Now, of course, it's not just circles that we can do this effect on. If we select the black solid again, we'll go into the rectangle tool this time. We'll draw out a rectangle in the middle and we'll change the path from mask one to mask two. If we play this back, that looks really cool. Again, we can change the sides to side A and B. Or alternatively, if we go into the free draw bezier or the pen tool, as it's known in After Effects, we can actually go ahead and draw out a triangle. So let's go for this point, this point, this point, and then this point. Select the back solid, path mask to mask three. Now you can see that's going to be applied to that triangle mask three. As you can see there, for some weird reason, it is clipping up here. So we can just go ahead and change the side options to side A to have that appearing inside the mask. Now that looks really cool, but if you wanted to add a glow or enhance this even further, then we can just go into effects and presets. We'll search for glow, drop glow onto the black solid. Then all we have to do is just increase the glow radius. And that has created this nice soft glow on our audio waveform. Now that looks really cool, but the problem is at the moment, it only looks like we're getting the audio waveform from this section. We are getting the waveform in other parts of the audio, but it's this part that we're really focusing on. So if you'd rather see audio waveform animating all the way around the circle, then we can go into duration averaging. So we'll select that. And as you can see, that's going to add more animation around the circle. But the problem is now we need to increase the height because it's not really creeping into the middle much at the moment. So we'll increase that to there. And I'm just going to turn off the glow for now just because it's really slowing things down. Now that looks a bit much. So we're going to pull that back down again. So we'll go maximum height. So we'll find the point where it's really bad. So here it was. We'll go maximum height. We'll pull this down to around there. So around 1500. And we'll select side A and B in this example. Then we'll play this back, see how this looks. But there you go. That is how you create an audio waveform inside of Adobe After Effects and change the path of that audio waveform to your own custom path. Thank you for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.